Hello scientists, welcome to Drawball Mad. So with this video, I will um, chat to you about uh, the difference between scientific illustrator and medical illustrator. So from my personal uh, way of distinguishing these two professions is that medical il illustration mainly focuses on um, medical related topics, literally on their job title. So for instance, uh, anatomy, human anatomy illustration uh, or human surgery uh, illustrations, patient education, uh, the usage of medicine. So I don't think you'll see uh, animal or plant related uh, illustration uh, within the uh, medical illustration sphere. Uh, and as for scientific illustration, it is a broader category of uh, any kind of illustrations that's related with nature science. So um, you can see like people who call themselves scientific illustrator that they might be working on animal illustration, uh, botanic illustration, uh, or graphic abstract like me, and um, also medical illustration. So, uh, so in some way, at least for me, that the medical illustration is uh, uh, it's within the domain of scientific illustration. Scientific illustrator, uh, they, they can be working on all kinds of topic that they can be drawing galaxy or in the National Geographic um, illustration or as small as as small as a bacteria illustration. All these are included in the scientific illustration domain and uh, you really need to check uh, their portfolio to see which kind of topic they're most interested in. Um, so for me, I specialize in graphical abstract. Uh, it's really because uh, my network uh, of clients are uh, mainly uh, in need for graphical abstract for their publications. I work as a neuropsychiatric researcher for th three years before switching my career to uh, scientific illustration. So, um, so I have an extensive network within the academic research community and uh, I also have three publications as a co-author of these articles. So, um, so I'm very familiar with how the academic publication process works and the language that uh, academic researchers use and also their concerns and the style that they want. So very naturally, I attracted a lot of uh, clients who are uh, working in academic research and are in interest for scientific, uh, for graphic abstract. So uh, that's just like uh, how my personal uh, scientific illustration journey goes towards too. Uh, I have other colleagues who works in other kinds of illustration. I have colleagues who uh, works who are very good uh, in uh, animal illustration, uh, like my uh, classmate Claudia. Here is her work, and um, so you can also check out her work on her social media. And also, I have um, colleagues who um, are good, very good in uh, botanic illustration. And my thesis advisor, who is a phenomenal medical illustrator. So, as you can see, uh, we all study scientific illustration within the same program of uh, Maastricht at Maastricht University. So, uh, but eventually we branch out towards different topics that uh, we focus on. So, and within those topics, there is medical illustration. Uh, so uh, that's how I come up to distinguish these two kinds of illustration, that uh, scientific illustration is a, like a broader domain. And uh, within my master study, uh, one third of our curriculum focuses on medical illustration. So I personally have um, observed surgery and also dissected a human specimen. So I got a, a foot, like li literally a foot. And then we need to open it up and then study the anatomy within the foot and I eventually made an illustration from my observation uh, and I, I focused on the tussle tunnel 
within a foot. Now, that was a very intense experience and also um, just by really like getting the um, a part of someone's body to study that is a very uh, serious thing. So, uh, but that also uh, shows you that we have very professional medical illustration training as a scientific illustrator and it is part of our curriculum. Let me know in the comments that what kind of uh, a topic related to scientific illustration that you're curious about. Just uh, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to uh, answer you. Subscribe to Drawbell Mat so you get to see these future videos about scientific illustration. I wish you all happy Drawbell Mat and I look forward to seeing you in the future tutorials.